at a time where global solidarity is fragile, where the world is suffering from so many crises, there's a lot of tension. And to find something that brings global solidarity, that can unify us across color, across race, across at every divide, uh, regions, it's pretty amazing. Everybody gets excited at football. And how could we harness the power of this uh, to bring some benefits and opportunities to some of our members? Because it's also about trade. Yeah. Football is a big mover in terms of all kinds of goods and services. How do we harness the trade part of it? Football is, is a global sport. We can see that um, uh, the, the the GDP of football globally is something around 268 billion US dollars, which is the size of Finland or, or Chile. The professional game of that and the revenues of the professional game are around 45 billion, but 70% of that is Europe, which means that there is a huge, huge potential in the rest of the world to uh, still develop football to give every talent everywhere in the world a real chance to bring a lot of uh, hope but also a lot of work uh, and opportunities. I'm really happy to talk about this unprecedented partnership between FIFA and the WTO. Uh, it's new but it's very exciting. Uh, what we've decided to do is focus on trying to deliver uh, for some of our least developed country members the Cotton 4 Plus, um, by being very specific in how are we going to help them add value to their products and benefit from the mighty power of football. How can we link the cotton production and, and value added to cotton from our C4 countries uh, into this value chain? So it's very specific. It's about trade. It's about mobilizing the power of football and sports. Uh, which is also a services economy to serve our least developed country members. So I'm really happy and I'm, I'm happy to see the excellencies uh, with us today uh, for this time. We'll also be wor working uh, on gender issues together to try and empower women and girls. It is uh, really a milestone uh, as well for FIFA to enter into such a memorandum uh, of understanding with uh, the World Trade Organization. It is about football, of course. Mm -hmm. It is about trade as well. It is about um, giving not only hope uh, and dignity uh, to people, but concrete resources, concrete possibilities and ways to uh, operate and to work together, and which will extend to the gender. rest of the world, to gender, to, uh, to women, to everything that uh, we can with football help a little bit to contribute for uh, you know, a better life uh, of, uh, uh, of all of us. I see a big opportunity to use this as a means of re-globalizing the world. People are talking of deglobalization. They are talking of decoupling. They are talking of fragmentation. I want us to think otherwise, to think of how do we bring the world together? How do we use the opportunities now to say, OK, countries that have been left behind and poor people within rich countries, how do we bring them into the mainstream? What about the football value chain? What is it doing in these countries beyond the sport, which is wonderful, mm. and which generates jobs? Thank you. That's beautiful. <laughs> With the exact date. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also signing off there. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, my this is the official, yeah. the official match ball of the World Cup. Yeah. 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 And we'll keep it here. We no, can, you, you, it's you, for WTO. No. <laughs> you, you have to bring it for the World Cup, otherwise we cannot play. It's the official ball. <laughs>